Well, we are leaving beautiful North Dakota and entering the great state of Montana. And North Dakota has a... Oh no, it's not a bear. I thought it was a, a bear, but a couple of girls in the even broke down, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, welcome to Montana. Not much to see in Montana until we get to the other side. Which is in 248 miles. So this is what we're doing all day. Hope y'all enjoyed. It was bring your friends to work day. So I brought you guys to work. Welcome to my office. Hay fields to the right, sunflower fields to the left, but his sunflowers are a little bit, oh, yeah, that's sunflowers, a little patchy, must have a bad batch of seeds. They should make their bed. curtains open you can at least make your bed well I think they're on vacation or something despicable all right we will see you guys when there's something to uh, video in Montana Unless you want to look at this coal train. I guess that's coal. Looks like coal. Cars. I don't know what's in it. They have coal mines in Montana. BNSF. Warren Buffett. He's a rich man, isn't he? Yeah, that's coal. It's a long one. Well, maybe they are going uh, west to the port, shipping that stuff to China. I don't know. Maybe that's. West Virginia coal or Kentucky any West Coast people watch my channel know where that coal came from we out of here see ya Still riding through Montana, but the scenery changed a little bit. So about the rough roads were in construction zone. The speed limit is 65, and we are doing 65, which is also um, Montana's speed limit for trucks, 65. Cars can do 80, trucks 65. I guess they don't like trucks. Well, anyway, we had a little <clears throat> desert rock action over there going on, so I thought I'd put the camera on and show y'all.
Okay, that's that. See, spinning an 80 truck, 65. Eh. Whatever. <laughs> it's what I run anyway, right? Don't hurt me none. Okay, that was exciting. You guys missed it. You can't see it. It's off to the... Y'all do not have a peripheral, a good peripheral vision. Well, I do. So, I just have to take my word for it. It was beautiful. Okay, bye. Well, we are still in Montana. I hate to keep uh, torturing y'all with this <clears throat> footage. Probably not much you guys can see. A lot of wide open country. Until we get to Billings in about 130 miles, it probably won't change a whole lot. Just rolling uh, land. I enjoy going west. It's uh, uh, relaxing. You know, there's nobody in front of me. There's nobody behind me. Well, there's you know, about a mile. Well, it's probably two mile, a mile and a half up there. About three quarters of a mile behind me. I'm just out here in a little pocket. Just riding. I would consider this rush hour in Montana. Just like we had rush hour in North Dakota. Wind's picking up right through here. Apologize for the bugs. Just look through them. That's what I do. <coughs> Just look through them. Don't look at them. Look through them. Horses. I don't think they're wild horses. It's a beautiful river <clears throat> out there. I guess you guys can see it where all the trees and stuff grow. I've been following that for a while. with you big bad Freightliner. Now, this guy, he was on the side of the road a while ago with a, with a state trooper. But now we see why. I guess he didn't learn his lesson. Uh, the state trooper ticked him off, right? Spit him in Montana 65. And I thought maybe he was broke down, but I guess maybe he was getting a speeding ticket. That was about an hour ago. Uh, he's on the side of the road with that. So he's been running pretty good to catch back up to me. <clears throat> not my monkeys, not my circus. Or is it not my circus, not my monkeys? I don't know. 
something like that. Well, I haven't done an update on Montana in a while. In a while. We are now to 67. So it's been a little while since I shot some video. Not much has changed. I'm just riding across the vast landscapes of Montana. Seen some wild antelope earlier. Anyway, Montana seems to have an ant problem too. They got ant hills, kind of like North Dakota did. Big ant hill right there, see it? It's a rest area coming up. We are almost ready for a 30 minute break. It says 1.37 to go. I was hoping to get somewhere cool for a 30 minute break. Rest area two miles. Next one 36. 26. Let's go to the next one. trees well I remember the first time I went, I went west it was across those cool rocks it was across 40 and I was so excited to get back to middle Tennessee and start seeing trees again but up here in this part of the country we have uh, some trees here and there So tomorrow will be a fantastic ride. Later half of today after we take this 30 minute break. Ah, rest area is closed. The next one it is. So, after we take our 30 minute break, the rest of Montana will be spectacular as well as a little bit of Idaho there. Then we cross into Washington. Yeah, there's not much out here as far as services. Uh, so you gotta hope you got enough fuel to get across the states. And uh, phone services, spotty. Unless you have a Verizon. Got a pretty good strong wind 
hitting us in the driver's side today. I know somebody probably just said, well, how much fuel do you have? Well, I can carry 270 gallons. I currently have over half a tank. So, we probably have a 170. Stay over there. Whew, did y'all see that? I was getting ready to make take evasive action. Stinking buzzard. I don't want one of them things in my lap. Nasty creatures. When I had that Volvo, I had a Magnum moose bumper I had put on it. Uh, first thing I killed a hawk. A hawk came down the median and picked up a rat. And he come back up out of the median, didn't watch crossing the road. There I was. So he went in between the bars of the uh, grill guard of the Magnum Moose Pumper. So I pulled over, make sure he didn't bust my radiator out, and uh, I took the pin out and lowered the bumper down to get him out from between the bars and the radiator thing. I read, laid the bumper down on top of that black angle iron that holds that bumper on was his uh, rat. It's a good sized rat. So I got two for one. That day I got the hawk and the rat. That rat had a looked like a hole drilled through the top of his skull. I guess the beak of that hawk must have punctured that skull of that rat and he grabbed him with his claws. It all happened like that. He swooped down there, grabbed that rat, and there I, I got him. Got pictures of it somewhere. I will, uh, so I can find those and insert those in this clip. That'd be a cool trick, wouldn't it? Here is the pictures of the owl or hawk and rat. So anyway, so we're getting in some uh, blusher green pine tree rolling hills of Montana. It's going to be a beautiful ride. my uh, cruise speed down to 63 so the Jake will hold us at about 65 when it would catch us back up here truck speed limit Montana is 65 beautiful But GPS speed's way off today. We got up to 66 on the speedometer. And uh, I think it's at 71, but that is incorrect. Let's go check out the navigation of the truck. It ain't going to show us. It's showing us what the current speed limit is. It's 71, 75, but... That is not correct speed for trucks. I 
have been through here and saw a herd of uh, elk up on the one of the hilltops before. It's really, really awesome to see that. As long as they stay up there and not down here on the road. My sister, myself, and uh, my niece and uh, her husband, what would that make him? Nephew? We went to Jackson Hole, Wyoming for Christmas vacation two years ago. And uh, if you don't snow ski, I wouldn't recommend that. Anyway, it was 25 below. And it was terrible, but we did a sleigh ride through a herd of elk through the uh, refuge and and uh, Thousands of them they were everywhere But we got more excited seeing uh, One or two we did a snowmobile ride through uh, Yellowstone when it's an old faithful and, and Everything we got we got more excited seeing a moose or an elk out in the wild uh, along with the buffalo than we did because you know they're they're out there in their more uh, natural environment you know I guess so we'd see a we'd see a uh, one or two standing out there in the creek or whatever we'd stop grab pictures and whatnot. So yeah, it was a really neat experience. But it was cold. When we got ready to leave. We flew it. We flew in on Christmas Day and flew out New Year's Day. And we got ready to fly out. The airplane froze up on the tarmac, and we had to go back to the um, terminal and wait for another plane. 25 below was pretty cold. Well, that was it. That was exciting, wasn't it? This is what we have for the next uh, 20 or 30 or 40 miles. So we'll let you guys go back to your regularly scheduled program. Well, we got a lot further to go in Montana than I originally thought. That was 94. And Billings is a junction of 90 and 94. So, <laughs> we will not make it out of Montana today. Still got 415 miles of Montana left. <clears throat> so the beautiful part of Montana, not that this is a beautiful, but the beautiful northwest corner of Montana will be in the wee hours of the morning unless I take a longer than 10 hour break and I may have to do that just for you guys we do what we have to do it's a shame this GoPro does not do Montana justice.
vegetation out here. Looks like it was a while back. All the trees are still scorched. That's my uh, telephone headset. I keep it on a hanger up there. Sometimes I forget to take it down. So we still have 757 miles to go to get to Auburn, Washington. So I'm trying to get that down to about 625. Do that tomorrow. But we're actually, we'll just be going to North Bend, Washington to the TA to spend the, spend the night tomorrow night. Well, I'll stop the seat and almost if I can't. We go ahead and reserve that spot for tomorrow night. So that place gets packed pretty fast. I've, I've stayed there two or three times and and uh, never reserved a spot. I usually found a spot, but I'll reserve one for tomorrow. Man, look at that view. But I'll reserve one for tomorrow. Just for the fun of it. I gotta get my train horn back on here. People come by, won't, you know, do that number. <clears throat> I'll give them the train horns to that. That horn. <clears throat> 